Hey everyone, it's Nancy Ann Ruger is right here and we are bringing you another fashion box today. I had unboxed this one over a month ago and it didn't go very well. It felt like the box was not made for me. Fashion saw that video. They wanted to make it right and send me another video to review for you. So that's what we have now. Let's see what we think of this one and get into this. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am glad you are here to join me for the unboxing of another fashion video. Now, if you watched my last one, you know that didn't go so good. It felt like that box was not styled for me and it turns out it probably wasn't. Fashion saw the video and they offered to send me another box and she said that they looked at it and they think they actually sent me the wrong box. And I'm guessing what happened because the items pretty much fit is that they, mixed up the wrong profile with mine. So she wanted to make it right. It took a long time for this box to get here. They were supposed to be relaunching their new program, which was sending you a box that you could either pay $85 for everything in the box, or you could keep whatever you want and pay full price for the items that you kept. That's the box I thought I was gonna be getting, but she sent me an email when the box arrived yesterday, and she said they haven't got that off the ground yet because they don't have all the inventory in that they want for that relaunch. So she sent me another five for $55 box. I have a feeling this one's gonna go a lot better though, because like I said, they wanted me to be happy and I think they wanted me to make a video that more represented what they would have done if they would have got it right the first time. So thank you, Fashion, for sending me another box. I will say, Fashion is a company that I've noticed has a lot of integrity. Um, Tina from Tina's Best Midlife, I mention her all the time, she's my friend. Hi, Tina. Uh, she did a video, her first Fashion video, it didn't go good and this was a while back and they sent uh they saw the video and they said hey we're sorry can we send you a new box with no styling fee back then it was run more like a traditional box with a styling fee and so she did another video and they always try to do right by their customers i will say this box took a while to get here um, i was thinking it might be here sooner the shipping was a little slow on this one, but it may have been because of all the mix up with the company and everything. We're gonna give it a different shot and another shot and see if things go differently this time. I will link that other video down below in case you'd like to see it. And also for every box that they sell, at least they used to, maybe they still do, they donate a dollar to Second Chance Rescue in New York. Now that may have changed, but I always thought that was really neat that they gave a little bit back. Always has their beautiful F sticker on the little bundle. Let's pull it out. Ooh, this is, this is kind of looking promising. I'm kind of liking the prints here. Let's get into this and see what we have. Let me just slide it out, less noisy. So we've got a piece of jewelry. Let me put my glasses on so I can see this better. And I'll just show it to you now while we're up close with the camera. So it says this is, oh, this is cute. Join the movement, sustainable fashion for a healthier and ethical planet. This is uh, arid art, er, erdy art. And it says, congratulations, you're purchasing an ecologically friendly product, handmade family of artisans. It's grown in a specific, oh, this is made of golden grass and it grows in a specific region of Brazil. And it's a source of income for the people there. That's really cool. While I'm getting this out, I will tell you my daughter's best friend in high school was from Brazil, I believe, and her, um, she and two of her siblings were adopted by a wonderful family there. These are cute. Cute, cute little earrings. Isn't that adorable? You can tell it's made of grass. I love this, the, the ethics and the story behind the company. So that's kind of neat. And one thing I like about those is they're very lightweight. So that's something I would actually, actually put in my ears. Okay, next up, we have a top by uh, Mill Gabrielle, M-L-L-E. This is a button down. Oh, it's not a top, it's a, oh, it's a dress. Hey, what size are you? Please fit me, it's a large. May have needed an extra large. I thought I told them my size. Maybe there'll be enough room through the hips. Hey, there might be enough room through the hips on this. I love the print. I have been looking for elbow length dresses. 
here we go. It's a shirt dress, it's buttoned down, it has a little tie. Hey, I already think, I already think between these two items, we look like we've got, I mean, I might have paid $55 for both the earrings and the dress. What's next? Oh, cute little top, smocking up here, and a little ruffle around the wrist. And here is the print. It's a blue with kind of a red or orangey red flower on it. Oh, that's cute. And a tie at the neck. Yeah, looking forward to trying that. And next, we have Always and Forever brand. And by the way, when I unboxed the last one, one thing I failed to say was even though the styling and the fit on all of those wasn't my style, um, and some I didn't give them good sizes on me either, uh, the quality of the pieces felt pretty darn good, except for the maxi dress. So here's another button-down top. Oh, this is a sleeveless button-down collared shirt. So that's cute, just a plain button down, very versatile piece. And our last piece, they always send five pieces in the five for $55 box, is a pair of trousers. Huh, look at the print. Can you see the print on this fabric? It's just like a little, little dress slack type print. Looks like we have a straight leg, pockets in the back traditional fly and pockets in the front. So this is like a jean styled trouser and I like the little rivets here on the back. Uh, let me see if I can show you of the pocket. And they're on the front too. So these, these look like they have some good styling. Okay, let's go try these on and see what we think. I gained a dog while I was changing clothes. He decided to come and grace us with his presence. Let's just take a look at this cute top. My goodness, I love it. I think it is so adorable. Nice, light, gauzy fabric. Loving the print. Got the neck tied up here. Let's untie it and see what it looks like. That smocking. Really nice detailing on this. It's really, really cute. Sorry, looking at the viewfinder, haven't really seen myself yet. The hem in the back is longer than the hem in the front for some good booty coverage there. I just think this is adorable. You could style it so many different ways. I think with a high-waisted pair of pants or skirt, this would tuck in very nicely. You'd have to be a little careful because of this where it comes up, you know, your, your waist might show if it rose up out of the jeans, but I think... I think this would work with a lot of different things. Shorts, be really cute with shorts. And I decided to style it with the split hem jeans that I was wearing uh, on, on the intro. You couldn't see, I was sitting down. And then just this cute little pair of mules. So, oh, earrings, I'm wearing the earrings. Aren't they cute? They're so lightweight, I can't even tell they're in my ears. These are perfect for me. I'm pretty happy with what we got right here. We're doing pretty good with this outfit too. So um, let's just start out with the, they're kind of like trouser jeans, a little bit snug, but I don't, I don't think they're too tight. Loving the pockets in the back, loving the pockets in the front. Well, the pockets in the back might be a little bit low, but since they're black, you can't really tell. These are great little jeans. And you know what? They're long. There's extra length on these. I could wear a pair of heels with them. Now, I normally go in for a wider leg. That's a more flattering look on me. But for a box where you got five pieces for $55, I think these are perfectly fine. I put them on with a little pair of black flats. That's what I brought down. But it probably would have been better with a little bit of a heel. Booty would be really cute with this. And now let's talk about this sleeveless button down. So I generally am not really a button-down girl unless I'm tying it, which I might try in just a minute. But this one is cute, so it does have a pocket. A lot of times pockets don't work on me because it calls more attention to my bust. It blends in so well, I think it works really good. Love that it's sleeveless. This would be comfortable in a blazer. Um, kind of a little bit like chilly-ish spring evenings. You know how sometimes um, long sleeve shirts are hard to get the, the sleeve pushed down into a jacket. And so no worries with this. I could do this in a jacket with a slim fitting sleeve. Love the little collar. Let's see, can we, can we pop the collar? Yeah, we can. We can kind of pop the collar right there. So super cute. Let me take it out so you can see the length on this. I don't usually wear black with blue. I feel like it looks like a bruise, but I wanted to put both pieces on. And I think it makes an okay outfit. I am gonna go ahead and 
unbutton this and tie it. Uh, I might would wear this tied over a tank. So let's see how this works. Maybe, let's see. Well, it's a tiny tie, but it does tie. That would be really cute with jeans or shorts. Ha <laughs> ha, all right, we're doing good. Now let's see how the dress works out. I think we have another winner here. I have been looking for elbow length dresses. This one is a nice light kind of gauzy feel to it. Probably would have to wrinkle. Let's do the squeeze test and see what happens. Probably would have to iron, not wrinkle. Will it wrinkle? Yeah, I may have to iron it. I'm not really sure, but it does have a nice light gauzy feel. And for the price, you just can't beat it. I do want to tell you before I forget, it is lined in the skirt. So I'm one of these dorks who still wears a slip. I don't even know if you can buy slips anymore, but I have some very old ones. I just don't like my dresses to be see-through, so I love that this is lined and that there is a kind of a slip already built in. It has the border print around the bottom, and the rest of the print I think is really cute. It does kind of go around, so maybe it widens me a little bit, but not enough to really bother me. Let me show you from the back. It's a nice fit through the hips was concerned it would be too uh, tight when I unboxed. It works out fine. It does have the tabs at the sleeve. A lot of times I don't like tabs, but I don't mind it here because it's actually part of the style. It's kind of giving it a little bit of a gathered look here. So I'm, I'm actually appreciating the tabs. We've got a collar and it is buttoned down to the waist. And then this tie, let me show you, has little beads at the end. And it's kind of um, a stretchy material. It's almost like a, slight bungee stylish tie <laughs> very cute i could see this with other types of belts too would be adorable uh, maybe a wide black belt or a white belt and a red would be cute perhaps or a straw would be adorable too and you could also wear it with different types of shoes to either dress it up or dress it down because it has such a light casual warm weather feel i just slipped it on with a pair of sandals so let's talk about the box um, they are going to be coming out soon with their five for 85 dollars you can keep the whole thing for 85 or you can pay for the items that you do want to keep and send the rest back um, would you like for me to get one of those boxes when they do come out with it and review that for you too? Is that something that you would be interested in seeing? One thing I wish that they would include, and I said this the last time, is an invoice that tells me how much these pieces are worth. I think we all like to know how good a deal we're actually getting. Let's talk about the pieces I'm actually going to keep in my wardrobe from this box. So I'm going to keep these pretty, pretty earrings. I love those. I don't even feel them in my ears. They're pretty versatile and they're not like anything else that I own. And I love that the company that they got them uh, from are making incomes for people in Brazil. And I'm gonna keep the dress, I believe. I'll get a good look in a full length mirror, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna stay. And I'm going to keep the, uh, the sleeveless button down. So, and that's not something I would have even tried on in a store, which I think is something that's sort of fun about this box, is you get to try these things that you may not have picked up, but in, my, in this case, it works for me anyway. Now I kind of have a classic piece that will be fun to style in new ways because it's something a little bit different for me. Now the other two pieces, I may not keep them. I don't know if I'll keep the print top. I'm going to get a better look in the mirror. But I have a daughter who lives here who I know will love this top if I don't want it. So that's a win. You always like to do things for your kids. Don't know about the pants. Now she is six foot one, so these aren't gonna be long enough for her while they were just a little bit too long for me. I don't know that I'm gonna keep them, but here's the deal. Even if I don't, three pieces at least, uh, earrings, dress, and top, that I'm gonna hang on to that would have been $55. Is that worth it? Totally. So as long as you don't get the wrong box, which is what happened with me, I believe this is showing very good promise of being a really good value. Thank you very much, Fashion, for sending me another box and trying to make it right and for caring. So many businesses just don't seem to care anymore these days. If you would do me a giant favor and squish that like button, that really will help this video move ahead. I know everybody says that, but more people will be able to find it if you do that, if you comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. I do try to reply to every single comment. And 
If you like all sorts of different unboxings, mostly clothing, I would be so honored if you would subscribe. That's all I've got for you today. I hope that you are having a great one. Bye-bye and be blessed. Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. I am really excited. No, I don't like that. Hey, hey, that's so phony. Okay. I have to put this back at the beginning. I, d I deleted the good one. How do, how do I start? Hey everyone, it's Nancy Ann. I've got Ruger back here with me this time and we are going to be unboxing and trying on a fashion. Now, I am re-recording this intro because I, I don't have to do this. They don't know. I'll just, okay, let's just start over. Wow, this is bad. <gasps> okay.